वेलकम स्टूडेंट्स अवर टूडेज टॉपिक इज प्लानर ग्राफ वी विल डिस्कस प्लानर ग्राफ एंड गिव सम एग्जाम्पल ऑफ नॉन प्लानर ग्राफ सो प्लानर ग्राफ्स आर द ग्राफ्स दैट कैन बी ड्रॉन ऑन अ प्लेन एंड द ग्राफ्स दैट कैन नॉट बी ड्रॉन ऑन अ प्लेन आर नॉन प्लानर ग्राफ सो वी विल प्रूव दैट दैट कंप्लीट ग्राफ ऑफ आर्डर थ्री K3 is planar similarly K4 is planar and then we will prove that K5 is non planar <coughs> similarly K6 and higher degree graphs are non planar and at the end we will prove that complete bipartite graph that is K33 is also non planar so we start with k3 th- uh, k3 means complete graph of order 3 so for k3 we choose three vertices vertex 1 vertex 2 and vertex 3 this is 1 2 and 3 so i can join 1 with 2 Va and two with three, and similarly vertex three with vertex one. So we can <coughs> join all the vertices without any edge crossing. So K three is a planar graph. K three is planar. Remember, in a planar graph, edge crossing is not allowed. So we will ha- have to avoid edge crossing while graphing. planar graph next we move to k4 for k4 we take four vertices and now we prove that this graph k4 is a planar graph for a planar graph we have to connect all the vertices this is our vertex 1 vertex 2 vertex 3 and vertex 4 first i join these boundary vertices 1 and 2 2 and 3 4 and 3 and 4 and 1 now we need to connect with uh, vertex 1 to vertex 3 so we can easily connect these two vertices without an edge crossing now vertex 4 and vertex 2 can uh, needs to be connected so we cannot connect vertex 4 and vertex 2 this way because edge crossing is not allowed so we choose an alternative path and connect vertex 4 and vertex 2 this way now you can see that all the vertices are connected uh, and this is a complete graph and there is no edge crossing in this graph so k4 is also planar graph k4 is planar that is <coughs> we can draw k4 on a plane without edge crossing next we prove that k5 is non planar k5 is not planar we cannot draw k5 on a plane so for k5 i take five vertices first i join these this is our vertex 1 vertex 2 vertex 3 vertex 4 and vertex 5 first i try to join vertices without edge crossing we can join 2 and 3 4 and 3 4 and 5 5 and 1 so these are our boundary vertices now i can join vertex 1 uh, 5 and vertex 3 there is no edge crossing now we can also join 5 and 2 or 1 and 3 So I join 
1 and 3. Now, for complete graph, we have to connect each vertex to all other vertices. Vertex 1 is connected to 2, vertex 1 is connected to 3, vertex 1 is connected to 5. We need to connect vertex 1 and vertex 4. So, I connect vertex 1 and vertex 4 this way. Remember, we have to avoid edge crossing. Now, vertex 1 is connected to rest of vertices. Now we move to vertex 2, vertex 2 is connected to 3, vertex 2 is connected to vertex 1. Now we have no choice to connect vertex 1 and vertex 5 because if I choose this path then there is an edge crossing. If I choose this path again we have edge crossing means I can't choose this path because if I choose this path, then there is an edge crossing. I can't choose this path. Again, there is edge crossing. Similarly, I can't choose this path. So all these possibilities of connecting 5 and 2 there is an edge crossing and remember edge crossing is not allowed so k5 is not planar finally we prove that complete graph k33 is also non planar k33 is non planar first we try to draw k33 on a plane so for k33 we take total number of six vertices three in one set and three vertices in other set now remember in bipartite graph and complete bipartite graph there is no edge between the edges or uh, vertices of a set so for a set a we have vertex suppose 1, 2 and 3 and set 2, uh, set B we have vertices 4, 5 and 6. So there is no edge between the element of a set but there are edges between the element of different set means we will draw edge from A to B not from A to A or B to B. So, first I join 1 with 4. Similarly, I join vertex 2 with vertex 4. I can also join 2 with 5 and vertex 2 with vertex 6. This is our 6 vertex. So we can join 2 and 6 without edge crossing. Up till now there is no edge crossing. Similarly, I can join vertex 3 and vertex 6. Now vertex 2 is connected to all three vertices, vertex 4, vertex 5 and vertex 6. Now we try to connect vertex 1 with the rest of vertices of set B. Vertex 1 is connected to 4. We can connect vertex 1 and vertex 5 by choosing this path. Similarly, I can connect vertex 1 and vertex 6. So vertex 6. So I can connect 1 and 6. Now, vertex 1 and 2 of first set A are connected to all the vertices of set B. Now, we need to connect vertex 3 to all the vertices of set B. Vertex 3 is already connected to vertex 6. 
Now we have no choice to connect vertex 3 to vertex 5 and vertex 3 to vertex 4. If I try to connect vertex 3 and vertex 5 this way, so there is an edge crossing and remember edge crossing is not allowed. So we can't connect vertex 3 and vertex 5. We have also no other path to connect vertex 3 and 5. Whichever path I choose, there is an edge crossing. So edge crossing is not allowed. Similarly, I can't connect vertex 3 with vertex 4. Whenever I try to connect these two vertices, there is again edge crossing. And remember, edge crossing is not allowed. So we have to avoid ed uh, edge crossing. So again, there is edge crossing. So we have no choice to connect a vertex 3 to vertex 5 and vertex 3 to vertex 4. So K33 is not planar.